A teacher has been stabbed to death by a student in the French town of Saint-Jean-de-Luz. Officials say the victim was a Spanish language teacher. The 16-year-old attacker told another teacher he was possessed and heard voices instructing him to carry out the attack, a source with knowledge of the investigation told Reuters. PAP NDI is France's education minister. Nothing allowed to foresee such a horrendous event. The principal, as well as the professors, all told me that this establishment was a very calm one, known for its seriousness and the serenity of its educational environment. A local newspaper reported that the student stood up in class and walked to the door before turning around and stabbing the teacher, citing two students who witnessed the attack. A local prosecutor said the student was being held in custody and that a murder investigation is underway. I was in Spanish class. Everything was going normally until a student stood up and stabbed the Spanish teacher in the chest with a large knife. When I looked up, he was already standing with the knife. Yes, I didn't really see him get up, but when he stuck the knife in, he was very calm. We ran away. I went through the lower gate. And so I ran. I left and I came back home because a friend's father brought me back. And apparently, the others in my class, they had stayed inside towards the dining hall where they were safe. She was a teacher, nothing special. She was nice. She never made any negative remarks. I mean, she didn't have a particularly bad relationship with this student. I can't really realize what's happening because I never thought I would experience this. It's not something that happens and I really can't realize. I would like to say that our thoughts are all with the terrible death of this teacher in saint gilles de luz as a result of the fatal injuries inflicted on her by a 16-year-old student. Obviously, I will not comment on the judicial investigation which has just opened. I would simply like to express our support for the entire educational community, including teachers, principals, parents and students. I can hardly imagine the trauma that this can represent locally and more generally at national level. I can also tell you that the Minister of Education, Pap Diai, will be going to the site today.